Hey guys, what's going on? Big Red Bullion here. Today we are going to tear apart this microwave for some copper and stuff. And I figured I'd do a video for you guys, so let's get to it. So first of all, we want to figure out what screws they are on the back. So they look like safety screws. So we want to grab out one of our hex bits here. Um, let me just find the right size. All right, so we got the right size now. I'm gonna grab out our drill here. So this is the bit we are using. It's uh, It's got the hole in the center. It's a safety bit. So I'm gonna flip this on its back. Like so, or upside down. You can do it that way too for you guys. All right, so we just wanna take out all these safety screws here like this all the way around the side just like that four screws easy simple pry off the uh, the top here oh we got one on the side here so let's get rid of that Now we got a piece of tin. We'll throw that in the back of the truck. And uh, so now we got the four screws here and this is holding in the transformer. Uh, and those are a star bit. So we wanna switch our bit again to a star head. Um, let me just make sure I grab the right one, okay. These are pretty simple to tear apart, guys. So, and a great source of copper. So there's just four screws holding that in. Now there is a copper motor under here. We just take our hammer, give it a quick bash like that. And as you guys see, we have a copper motor here that we will definitely want to get. Hopefully you guys can see that okay. And it's just held on by one screw in there. So we just go ahead, pull that off, grab our wire clippers here. We can clip that. So there's a nice electric motor that's got a nice spool of copper in there. We definitely want to keep that. So that's it for that side. Now to the interesting side right here. So as you guys see, we got a transformer magnetron another copper motor down here all this stuff so to do this guys you want to get rid of where the capacitor is first and the magnetron that way you guys don't get shocked i've never personally been shocked by one but i hear some people have i don't know but here is our big transformer here. Now the easiest way to tell if these are aluminum copper, so you just cut it. So the top one there, the bottom one there is aluminum. As you guys can see, it's got that metallic look. And then let's check the top one. Which is also aluminum. So aluminum, aluminum. We can just throw that in aluminum transformers. And uh, yeah, so now what we wanna do is we wanna grab all this copper wire and stuff. This is gonna be your 60% copper uh, wire recovery, which currently is going for about 240 pound right now at my scrap yard. Just want to cut all these out. And that copper wire just goes into a bucket. So, just wanna, it's a 
a nice little chunk of wire. So definitely want to take it out. Good chunk there. And it all adds up, right? I mean, obviously you're not going to get rich off of uh, one item, right? All right, we got a little circuit board up here we can take off. That'll just be a low grade, but these little spools here have copper too that you can take them off of. I'll process them later on. So now we have our magnetron. Take off the screw. So to go over our magnetron, there is some uh, some copper wire in here. Um, now you got to be careful when you strip these because some of them do have beryllium in there and you don't want to inhale that. Um, but these have aluminum uh, fins and then there is copper, like a copper core in the actual piece and then a little brass ring here. So good to strip out if you know what you're doing. Uh, I'll do a video on these, on how to scrap these out down the road. So, now here we got a nice copper motor with a fan. I just take my hammer and bash it out. So as you guys see there, nice copper motor. Let's get it off of the plastic here. Just like that. So now we got ourselves a nice copper bearing motor there, which is good. We can go ahead and strip that later on. That just goes in my small motor bucket. Uh, then we do have a little circuit board here. We'll go ahead and take off. Okay. So here's our circuit board here. We got a little transformer here, um, an IC chip here for gold recovery. That's pretty much it. So we can put that in our low grade. Uh, then we got our power cord. Obviously our power cord we want to take, that will go into our 40% copper bin. And the reason why is because it has multiple strands of insulation. Uh, so less copper recovery a plastic ratio. I always cut off the ends to get the brass off of them. So yeah. So that's pretty much the strip down of a microwave guys. Like I said there is a lot of copper that we can get out of them. So, put that there. Because I always uh I always keep the microwave so that way I can put screws and all that stuff in there. Um, but yeah, so we got a little copper motor here, an aluminum transformer here, our coil here, that other electric motor that we had uh, that I threw in the other bucket. So, guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was a quick scrap out, but I'm going to try to make a bunch of short little videos like this. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Until next time, guys, take care. Keep stacking.